Nexon scouts were discovered sneaking through the tunnels, and we've traced their movements to a central base of operations. Orders are simple. Destroy the base and seal the tunnels for good. Play, you are on red. Now it's time for the real thing. Warfare. This is our power core. Our job is to protect our red core and destroy their blue core. Pretty straightforward. To damage their core, we create power links, node by node, from our core to theirs. On your HUD, you can see we need to build the prime node, in the center of the map, to start that link to their core. If the enemy already controls the node, we have to destroy it first, then rebuild it under our own control. Luckily, to start building the node, all you have to do is touch it, and the automated system does the rest. Once it's fully built, you'll see your objective on the mini-map change to point to the enemy core. That means we're linked to their core, and we can take it out. Cores are pretty heavily defended. Just keep shooting until it blows. If the enemy destroys the Prime node, our link to their core will be broken. Then we'll have to go back and rebuild the node. Okay, let's go. Attack the Prime Node. Simple layout. Take the node in the middle, blow their core, home in time for dinner. What is for dinner anyway? Wild gets here? More noodles? I'm in position. Area secure. Enemy Manta. Enemy Manta. Heading towards Prime Node. I'm taking heavy fire! Blue Core is under attack. Blue Core is heavily damaged. Blue Core. Is critical. Blue core is a new core destroyed. Flawless victory. While you were busy playing underground, the Axon snuck into the Kimpu Market District. That's where I buy my threads, so I'm taking this personal. Time to take down another power core. The old market centers both have nodes powering defense turrets. If we can take them both, we'll overload the enemy core shields, and their core will be raised and exposed. Then we use the turrets to finish them off from a distance. We're using the Node Buster Orb and hoverboards this time. Expect more intel on the field. Play, you are on red. Up to now, we've had some pretty simple battlefields. And, well, it's about to get tougher. Luckily, Izanagi R&D found a way to capture nodes more quickly. They call it the Node Buster Orb. We can use the orb to destroy an enemy node and rebuild it for us instantly. If you drop the orb or use it to build a node, we'll get another one back at our orb spawner. Also, just carrying the orb near a node we already control will shield that node from damage. You'll know it's working when you see a red line of power that links you to the node you're protecting. In more complex battlefields, we may even see unlinked support nodes. These nodes can be taken by either side at any time. No need to link to them. Usually, support nodes are worth taking. They'll give us some advantage, like access to turrets, special vehicles, that sort of thing. In this battle, if we capture both support nodes, We'll cut the coolant supply to the enemy core, and it'll automatically raise into the air, making it vulnerable from a distance. And one last thing. Whenever we're in a battle with vehicles, we'll be given R-class hoverboards instead of translocators. They should keep us mobile. That's the basics. You'll have to learn the rest on the job. 
Blue core is secure. Grab your orb. Red orb picked up. Attack the prime node. Denied. First blood. Enemy orb carrier incoming. Enemy orb destroyed. Come on, Bishop. Let's see you grind your foot. Red orb picked up. Double kill. Blue core is vulnerable. Attack the enemy core. Blue core is secure. Attack the prime node. Heading toward prime. Double kill. Killing spree. Blue core is vulnerable. Blue core is under attack. Attack the enemy core. You've got to be kidding me. In position. All clear. Swear. Out of my way. Blue core is under attack. Orb carrier incoming. Blue core is secure. Red core is vulnerable. Red orb picked up. Attack the prime node. I'm taking heavy fire. I've got the orb. Red orb dropped. Heading toward prime node. There's more where that came from. Red core is under attack. Red core is secure. Enemy orb carrier incoming. Red orb destroyed. Take it. Attack the prime node. Anyone out there? Moving into position. Enemy orb destroyed. I need some backup. Out of my way. For the fallen. Double kill! Enemy orb carrier incoming! Out of my way! Enemy orb destroyed! Killing spree! Double kill! Find him up! Knock him down! Hell yeah! Defend the Prime Node! Attack the Prime Node! Is secure. You've got to be kidding me. In position. All clear. Enemy orb carrier incoming. Blue core is vulnerable. Attack the enemy core. Prime node captured. <laughs> You'll feel the impact of that one in a moment. Enemy orb carrier down. Blue core is under attack. Blue orb picked up. Blue core is under attack. Blue core is secure. Red orb picked up. Red core is vulnerable. Attack the prime node. Heading toward prime node. Bring it in home. I'm taking heavy fire. Stay down. Blue orb picked up. Red core is secure. Rampage. Enemy orb carrier incoming. Blue core is vulnerable. Enemy orb destroyed. Blue core is under attack. Attack the enemy core. Red orb picked up. Enemy orb carrier down. Blue core is under attack. I have the orb. Heading toward front. <laughs> You'll feel the impact of that one. That's just so... That's just... Ah! Stay down. Blue core is under attack. Blue core is heavily damaged. 
damaged. Blue core is gone. Killing spree. Booyah. Never saw it. Blue core is critical. Blue core destroyed. Red team wins the match. Nice job. We pushed those Axon punks out of Takedo, and we're gonna keep pushing them into the DMZ. To blow the axon core, but surprise, it's protected by blast doors. We can lower the doors if we can steal a heavy tank and drive it onto the pressure van. Good news is there's a tank factory in the vicinity. Bad news, we have to get it across the drawbridge powered by the node underneath it. So, job one, get the tank. Job two, hold the drawbridge and get the tank across. Job three, protect the tank while we take out the core. Job four, watch the fireworks. Play, you are on red. Grab your orb. Red orb picked up. Attack the bridge control node. Look at that tent. It's huge. A little cozy, but room for two. We can have a party in there. Just drive it across the bridge first. Defend the bridge control node. Impossible! Attack the bridge control node. Red core is vulnerable. Heading toward bridge node. Red orb dropped. I'm being overrun! Red orb dropped. Red orb destroyed. Your orb. Enemy Goliath has crossed the bridge. Enemy Goliath heading toward bridge node. Enemy orb destroyed. Red orb picked up. Attack the bridge control node. Enemy Goliath at your core. Red core is under attack. I need some backup. <laughs> That's gotta hurt. Attack the bridge control node. Red core is secure. Blue core is vulnerable. Drive the Goliath across the bridge. Red orb picked up. I have the orb. Heading toward bridge node. Drive the Goliath across the bridge. Red orb dropped. Under heavy attack. Drive the Goliath to the pressure pad. Enemy orb carrier incoming. Red orb picked up. Come on guys, this is easy. Go to bridge mode, drive the tank across the bridge, core goes boom. Red orb dropped. Enemy orb destroyed. If it's so easy, we'll go back to base and let you handle it. Blue core is under attack. Red orb destroyed. Blue core is heavily damaged. Blue core is critical. Drive the Goliath across the bridge. Come. Possible! 
Drive the Goliath across the bridge. Enemy orb carrier incoming. Blue orb picked up. Blue core is secure. Red core is vulnerable. Attack the bridge control node. Under heavy attack. Red orb picked up. I've got the orb. Heading toward bridge node. Red core is secure. Blue core is vulnerable. Drive the Goliath to the pressure pad. Red orb picked up. Bridge no. Catch. Attack the enemy core. Blue core is critical. I have the orb. Blue core destroyed. Red team wins the match. The Axon are stepping to us. It's time to make our presence felt. These harbors are full of vehicles loading cargo, moving personnel, and maintaining the perimeter. To even the odds, Supply requisitioned a few longbows for us. The anti-vehicle rocket launcher, aka the Avra Longbow, fires armor-piercing missiles using an onboard optical tracking system. If all that fancy tech works as advertised, it sounds like a sniper rifle for blowing up vehicles. Bishop, have fun. Play. You are on red. For this battle, we're capping flags again. But this time, we'll have vehicles at our disposal. Instead of translocators, we'll have hoverboards, like we do for warfare battles. But just because we have vehicles, don't be trying to take flags in them. Flags don't seem to mix well with vehicle power cells. Hoverboards do come with a grappling hook, though, so you can hitch a ride on a vehicle to get around faster. This will get you out of harm's way quickly, but remember, when you're on your hoverboard, any damage you take will send you and the flag flying. Ouch. Damn! It's capture the flag with vehicles? Yeah. If you get their flag, use your hoverboard. In the red game. Heading for the shield belt. First blood. Do not push me. Line them up. Knock them down. Enemy scorpion. Near the blue base. I'll remember that. Blue flag taken. I've got your back. Red team takes the lead. Enemy scorpion, midfield low. Why am I always the first one to get shot? Enemy scorpion, midfield low.
Enemy Hellbender. Midfield low. Enemy Hellbender. Midfield low. Enemy Hellbender. Midfield low. Enemy Scorpion, midfield low. Stay down! You got it! Hit it. Blue flag taken. I have the flag. Blue flag returned. I need backup. Incoming! Red team increases their lead. Red flag dropped. Red flag returned. Blue flag taken. Bam! I've got our flag. I have the flag. I need backup. In the red base. Blue flag returned. Victory.
the plan is to keep rolling on the axon. But if you want to get creative, you're in spitting distance of Torlin. If we took their power stations, we'd have some serious juice. <laughs>